Hey guys, so welcome back to this very last part of this video series. I hope you guys enjoyed everything you've watched up till now and we've come to the end of this video series and I hope you guys learned something valuable about Vue.js. So what are we going to learn? We're going to learn how to change the task app. I think, I feel like this is something we should have done in the very beginning, but I've sort of ended up leaving it up to the very last moment to do it. So let's, let's better late than never and let's do it now. So we are going to first need to um, apply, instead of uh, just using plain text to display this, we have to use, we have to create a data property to actually store the task data. And then we have to create a computer or a method property or a vbind directive so that it's displayed here and it can dynamically or reactively change depending on how it's changed on the input over here. So uh, let's do it really simply. And we are going to first go back to our code and in our code, we want to go back to our data properties. So here, we, let's say at the very top, we're going to create a variable called app title. And here we're going to say, uh, let's just briefly check what our actual app title was. It's to do task list app. Okay, so we're going to say to do task list app. Actually, we have to put this in quotation marks. So to do task list app, like so. Okay, so here we create this and then next, we have to actually go back to our view, um, uh, our display uh, input tag. So we go back to our, our, our checkboxes and then here our input, we have to go value. We do a vbind is equal to app title. And it's actually simple as that. So now if we go back and then one, and sorry, last one more thing, we have to actually change it so that um, in our text, it actually shows as this instead of um, the plain text we currently have. So let's see, oh, here it is. So to do task list app. So we want to delete this and then we want to add uh, app title or I think, I believe we have to say this app, app title like so. So now if we go back to our variables, refresh the page and now if we change this, it does not dynamically change. So what we have to do is we have to put one more variable. So it, it is loading fine, but now we have to make sure that after it's loaded, each time we do a key up or key input here, it changes this variable as well. So let's go back once again to our code. And this time we are going to create a method. So method. So let's go back to our code and here we are going to create a V on directive. So not here, but right over here, we are going to create a v on input and then we're going to create a uh, method called change app title so now let's go back to our methods and let's go let's actually do it at the very beginning of our methods since we are changing the title and it's probably the most important thing so we want to say uh, change app title and then function and then let's see what we have to create in our function uh, we have to actually, um, we have to actually in our function, let's see, change app title. We have to go uh, event. We have to go events so that we get the event target value. And then we go this app title, app, uh, this app title is equal to event target value, which is basically going to get the input value since that's where the target event is happening or the event listener is. So we go back to our browser, refresh the page and this app title, something is wrong. So if you go back to our inspect uh, element console, oh, and guys, I forgot to tell you guys, but we do have one more video after this as well. We actually have to create the cons the the progress completion bar. So we will do that in this after vid after this video, and it will be a very fun uh, video series, as fun video lecture as well. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, we're going to go to our console, and we have an unexpected identifier on line one seventy five. So let's go back to our um, uh, text editor or IDE, and let's go to line one seventy five. So on line 175, oh, we forgot to put a comma after here. So comma, that should work. So if we go back to our browser and close this and refresh, 
And if we change it, yes, the title is working. And we can also display or not display the title. Okay, guys, so that's how you change the title um, app title. So let's change something good. Uh, I hope you are enjoying this tutorial series. Smiley, smiley, smiley face. Good luck for me. Okay, so, so that's how we make the um, title change. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next, in our next video, we are going to create a um, the task display completion percentage bar so that each time you click on a item or delete items, the, the completion bar slowly goes all the way to 100. So if I do this, it goes all the way to 100. There should be a congratulation message, but we're not going to program that in because this is a simple application. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, phenomenal life. And I will see you guys in the next, uh, in the next lecture, guys.